Richard Lake. Uh, I run the Polestar Planetarium, uh, which is here at the University of Lincoln as part of your uh, National Science and Engineering Week. Uh, it's down in the atrium, just down here, and it's sitting in a corner there, and it's here for all of the days, and it's open to everybody, really, who wants to come along. I'm self-employed. Uh, I run the, the Planetarium, and most of my work is in schools, uh, both primary and secondary. And I also manufacture the equipment as well, the projection equipment and the domes themselves too. A planetarium, you know, most people have an idea of it as a, as a, a hemispherical space with, with stars on the top of it, and we still do that, and that's absolutely correct. And there isn't an occasion goes by when I won't do that at the end of a session, without a doubt. People always want to be able to find their way around the night sky. Uh, in addition to that, there's a technology called Full Dome, which manages to produce uh, full hemispherical uh, video images, both still and moving around the inside of it. So you're effectively immersed in the uh, in the experience. So you can uh, fly across the surface of the moon, you can dive down onto Mars uh, with, a, with a robot, uh, you can even dive down through the surface of Europa, one of the moons of, uh, of Jupiter, through the ice and into a dark ocean underneath. My first memory of being intrigued with space was actually my own primary teacher, about the age of, uh, of seven. Uh, back in those days the poor man actually had to physically draw planets on a chalkboard on the wall. You know, now we're projecting full motion CGI video out of a very expensive studio down there uh, and people are stunned by it but somehow this man with a chalkboard managed to <laughs> managed to intrigue me that and a few pictures cut from magazines I think and that was it you know uh, and I've had a love of space ever since then. What, what's been nice about this week is that I've got to see uh, a whole range of people uh, all kinds of ages sometimes all at once you know, you know and has been down there. You know. There's, uh, I've seen two or three people who've been back two or three times actually. Thank you.